up YouTube it's your girl Queen Omar and today I got an open mic I'm finally performing again about to get back into it I know it's just open mic but you know me performing is everything like any chance I get I'm on the mic so I'm gonna rehearse a little bit you know I've already worked out already smoked <laughs> so I'm about to rehearsal a little bit i'm gonna show y'all a little bit of my rehearsal me getting ready you know just what i do on a normal day when i'm about to perform i don't really try to talk because you know i like try to i don't really try to talk because like i like to re reserve my voice you know so yeah just stay tuned to this day and just look at the skin i did a face mask that joint was bomb again it did it again damn but anyway i will be back i'm gonna be realistic with y'all gotta be real with myself this is one of the days that i just don't want to do anything i'm tired my ears hurt my head hurts I'm sleeping, but I'm sleeping too much. So I'm drained. I was supposed to do this open mic yesterday, but it rained, so I figured the, it was canceled again. Because it was outdoors. And I, I didn't want to sing outdoors while it had rained. I've already had an experience with that. It's not good for me. My, and my nephew, I don't know, like I just get in these cycles where the beginning of the week, I'm like, it's a boost of energy. And then by the end of the week, I'm like drained. I feel so drained. Um, I just don't, I don't know, like, I know where I'm going, I feel like I can see it, but sometimes it just get foggy. I haven't showered in a day, I mean, I haven't left the house in a couple of days, actually. But, like, I don't feel like depressed, you know. I don't feel like cutting myself, hurting myself. I don't feel like doing nothing crazy, drinking. I feel like smoking, but that's me all the time. But I got up and just immediately started working on music. I post on Instagram, Snapchat. Do Facebook and Twitter, but I gotta exercise. I gotta shower, so I gotta do that beforehand. Um, <clears throat> gotta know my routine. I did a hundred sit-ups the other day. Do my squats my sitting squats, my reverse plank and my normal plank. <clears throat> oh, man. I guess today y'all gonna see you know how my day really goes when I'm feeling like this because I guess this will be um as authentic as it gets. The days get worse. Some, some days it be bad, but today is not bad. Not that bad. So that's that's how I know it's not that bad because I'm able to say that. You know, I'm very honest with myself. Like it's not. It's just something I feel over me, like a cloud of rain, like a cloud of something sad. I'm gonna go ahead and get in the shower. I'm, well, I'm gonna exercise first. 
Maybe do some yoga to help me get up out of there, get up out of that mood. And then shower, maybe smoke, get back to working on the music. The only thing that keeps me stagnant, that keeps me going, I feel like I'm just sitting there and lay there all day. Because it's been raining. I don't know. I just feel mentally exhausted. But not like not wanting to give up, but just something. I don't I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm not used to a normal setting of moods. That's probably why I'm bipolar, but I don't know, I used to, I don't want to be bothered. Either though, I don't want to be around people. That's true. I don't, I don't want nobody, oh, you need to go for this moment. I hate that. Oh, I hate that so much. Like, can't no one make you feel better in the entire, like, they can if you let their words be so powerful, but it's not like that for me. I've never been that type. And these are tears, y'all. These are just like I'm waking up and my eyes are just. But I guess I gotta get up. And so yeah, I have a little bit of problem. I moved to Jersey um, about a couple of months ago. I had to leave a lot of my stuff in Maryland. So let me show y'all what I'm living out. This is This is my whole wardrobe. Um, yeah. So let me show you my wardrobe. Yeah. See, I'm already looking better, I guess. Get a t-shirt. These are my, well, not a two sweatpants. These are my favorites. I wear them so often. But I wash them often too. It's all good. won this somewhere. Um, I performed at Temple University in Philadelphia and I won this and some tickets. But you see, I sold the tickets because I didn't even, was like, well, I'm even going to the contest. I think I have everything. Oh, actually, the blog. Yeah, everything's in here, so that's why it's so easy for me to just pull it out. so much.
I'm gonna remove and put them back inside. And this stuff is literally one fourth. Maybe not even one fourth. Of all the stuff I do or did have. But I just had to, I had to leave it. When God tells you to go, you can't take everything with you. That's what I'm learning. And that's all right, because, I mean, it put you in a position to, for one or two things, just to receive more or understand what you had and understand how to treat the things you have with respect. First, just so I can get a little steam. I worked out, you guys. Seen a little video. So this is my tea tree candle. Yeah, you probably can't see. I was experimenting with this one. I was trying to figure out how I can make these labels look a little more smoother, but I figured out it was tape not paint not clear paint not any type of paint clear acrylic nothing because it makes the ink disappear but you see here and on the back that there's a little more anyway i don't know oh, this is candle wax i'm gonna go ahead and light this oh it smells so good So this is my refreshing candle. This candle helps with a lot of purification of the air and it helps repel bugs. It also helps with a lot of chronic stress, meaning stress done within the brain. Like we can stress our body and whatever by working out too hard or putting too much weight on us, but this helps with a lot of mental stress. It also helps with congestion and anxiety. So if you haven't already, visit my website at Ariamo Aromatherapy candles it's in my bio i'm probably going to put it in this video just shop and try out my candles if y'all don't like them just don't buy them again i mean what can i do so i'm going to get my candle and go ahead and start the shower <laughs> I love the smell of this stuff. Y'all haven't stopped already, please. I'm starting my cell today. My cell starts today, June 3rd. Um, my cell for half off. Um, I'm gonna put a code on my website and you're gonna be able to go ahead and visit um, and use the code for half off. Please take advantage of the cell because, come on, you're getting the price of the small candles for the price of the big candles. I mean, you're getting the price of the small candles for a big candle set. Like, you can't beat that. And it starts today until the end of the month. So, when y'all see this video, it comes out today. So, just, yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna get in the shower now. And I'll be back. The shower's over. Take my hair down. Let my scalp breathe. Throw some oil on, on my scalp and massage it. I had these rollers in since like yesterday. Just to help my hair from just sticking up and stuff. But I'm using apricot oil today. I'm gonna use some of my shine. Just put in a little drops in here. So it um it easily distributes. some of this smooth and shine polisher from Cream of Nature. Just a bit that much. I have a lot of hair. Just so when I take it out, I have some type of oil in my hair. hands look kind of like this, kind of dry. I know that I put enough oil in it. So, alright, what we do next? I'm gonna drink some water. And then I'm probably gonna catch y'all outside. Well, actually, I saw you kind of. Yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all outside. I got my roots chain on too. Honestly, this is just to help me with shaping. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about contouring. So, I'm outside. I want to sit y'all down, but there's chiggers and ants all over the place. I'm going to pick y'all up in a little bit. But I just 
I think part of what makes me feel the way I feel is that I mean I see results but I'm being ungrateful honestly I can't be patient I can't just wait on God and I'm trying to work on being like that because he's he's the only one that's going to give me my blessing so why not let it, I have to It just gets so hard, man. You feel by yourself like no one understands, but I'm sure everyone understands. But I feel like I didn't got myself up out of that little funk that I was in this morning. I appreciate y'all watching me get through that shit because it's not easy, man. It's not easy at all. I'm in a different environment. I'm not I'm not home. Not like with my mom anymore. You know, like I'm an adult. <laughs> Sometimes I, I feel like, you know, like it went by so quickly but thank y'all for watching this episode I hope nobody judged me you know cause this is as authentic as I can be I gotta be honest with myself that's why I say, like, first that when I'm being ungrateful a little bit. So, I'm going to get up out of that. I'm going to make some music and do what I know how to do. Do what God, God gives us these gifts for a reason. God damn. So, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. This is episode... 13. Damn, we're on the 13th episode. And hopefully I get an open mic next week so that way I can really go and show y'all what I really do, you know. And just stay tuned. I forgot to say this. Love, prayers, hugs, kisses, all of that good stuff. We're throwing all that extra debris and shit. Hmm. Let me stop. <laughs> Yeah, I have a good one.